So if you only had one bullet to fire and hit the most strategic target, you would train men to preach the Word of God because that sets in motion everything that's good and healthy in the church. I loved being in Zambia at uh, Central Africa Baptist University. Um, I, I love the pastors that I met there. Um, I was amazed at how many men were eager to be taught and trained in the Word of God and how faithful and devoted they were. In fact, I, I remember even as I was going through my notes, if I flipped a page and didn't give them what was on that page, they would raise their hand and say, go stop and go back to the page that you, um, that you passed over. That, that, that doesn't happen in other places. So there is a, a very unique appetite there among those men uh, for training in the Word of God as, as well as in the Word of God itself. And so uh, I, it was a wonderful experience from beginning with the leadership uh, with Phil Hunt and other men, pastors, Chopo and, and others who I met, um, their kindred spirits, uh, like-minded men were, were rowing in the same direction. So I felt like I was stepping into the current of a river that's flowing in the direction that I want to go. So it was a wonderful spiritual experience that I had. I, I want to urge the church, wherever you might be that uh, is listening to this, uh, to come alongside missions overseas and especially places that are faithful to the Word of God, like Central Africa Baptist University, um, to give your prayer support, to give your financial support. Uh, because places like this do so much with so little. Uh, everything that's invested is, is, is multiplied. Uh, there, there, there's no bureaucracy, there's no uh, fat, if you will. It, it just goes into the machinery of, of reaching the world for Christ and training men to reach the world for Christ. And so I, I would urge you uh, to give sacrificially to mission work just like this. God has a heart for the world, and He so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son. And so we've got to think beyond our own region and think globally. And I know in Central Africa, that is a, a strategic place uh, to invest your resources that will yield eternal dividends.